Man of Steel is actually interesting. Um, there were parts of it that I really liked. There were parts of it that I really didn't care much for. Like the ending? <laughs> well, that kind of depends on what part we're talking about. Because... I don't want to go into spoilers. It's been long enough. <laughs> I didn't. It didn't really bother me. Honestly, like it's one of those things that honestly, it's it more the movie. what happens next. You mean where everyone's like cheery and happy? Well, no, not not even that. But but like in the next movies and stuff. Really, it's like how does Clark react to what he had to do? Because I don't. To me, I'm not really against Superman having to kill people. And I, I know that sounds... Like, at the same time, I, it's certainly not what I want to be his first resort. But, like, when you have a character that powerful, it's kind of, like, uh, is it Max Landis? Was that the guy that did that? Uh, yes. yes. Yeah, whole part of definitely trying to Superman. Yeah, like, he, he actually had a really interesting um, way of phrasing it, which is that essentially Superman is, in a, is an adult in a room full of children. And that adult, when another adult comes in and wants to Anakin Skywalker all the kids... <laughs> you killed young ladies? <laughs> like... Those kids aren't going to have a chance. Like, there's nothing anyone could have done to Zot. Yeah, and they didn't have Crypt tonight or anything like that. Exactly. It's like, I don't... And, and you know, the same would apply with, like, Dark Side or something. It's like, there are some characters, especially when you pl want to play the hyper-powered Superman. You know, it's, it's one thing if you want to play, like, a Fleischer Superman, where, like, he's strong, but he's, like, feasibly super-powered, as opposed to, like, no, he's, he's God. <laughs> You know, flying around, punching holes into space time. Yeah, um, it's like Zod is Superman, and we can't stop Superman. But he's Superman, and he wants to kill everyone. Like, how are you? You can't stop that guy. So it's like that, and the fact that there are people that are saying that those four people that Zod was about to burn to a crisp with his heat vision are worth less, their lives are worth less than Superman's moral code. Like, I'll, I'll fight you. <laughs> no, 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 that's not directed at you, but it's like, how are you gonna say that their lives are worth less, like, they should die so that Superman doesn't have blood on his, like, I, th I think it just people have this idea of what Superman. No, I know, and, and no, I know, and it's something that I'm sure I don't want to talk to Mark about, Mark Wade. Um, <laughs> but but yeah, like honestly, the 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 the, uh, the destruction porn, I totally understand that. Like Superman, it, it's, it's one of those things. Like it's it's not necessarily the fact that Metropolis was essentially obliterated that bothered me, but the fact that like. Superman should have constantly been trying to take that fight away from the city. Yep. And it, it doesn't matter that, like, it doesn't matter if it still happens in the city, because Zod is, Zod's a general. Like, he'll understand what's going on, and he'll take it back to the city. If, I think if you know Zod is actually the one who knocks Superman into space, you're not fighting. Well, then, that's even dumber, actually, because, <laughs> because, yeah, like, Zod should be wanting to keep it in the city, because he understands that, like, Clark should theoretically be holding back. You know, I mean, it's the same thing, literally, like, when, when Vegeta and Goku go at it, when he's Majin Vegeta. Vegeta knows that Goku isn't going to let this happen, so he starts pressing Goku's buttons by killing everybody. That's, I mean, that is literally, like, your bullet points for how that should have been handled. But, yeah, at the same time, like, the death of Pa Kent was, like, super impactful to me and everything, and... I thought Henry Cavill was a pretty good Superman overall. Like I liked Amy Adams as Lois Lane. Admittedly, I think that a redheaded Lois Lane is a little bit weird. Being a purist, like she, she's a brunette. Come on. Um, but yeah, like I, honestly, I kind of like the idea that Jor El is a bit of a BA himself. You know, able able to handle his own and and all that good stuff. So I mean, yeah, 
it by no means was a perfect movie, but at the same time, like, people just need to calm down, man. <laughs> you, you know, like, no one's saying that's like the only Superman movie that's ever going to come out for the rest of all time. And you still, like, we all still have the Christopher Reeves movies, which are phenomenal, and everything like that. Like, would I like it to be better? Absolutely. But do I want to crucify Zack Snyder? Not really. That's kind of inappropriate and excessive. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know. To, to start bringing up death threats towards people seems incredibly contradictory when the reason you're threatening to kill somebody is because Superman just killed somebody. So. Ben Affleck. <laughs> Man, I could not care less. <laughs> I mean, yeah, literally, I got almost nothing. The only thing I'll say, I know this isn't why people are pissed, but I can kind of understand, like, for me personally, the only real negative I see is, like, I, I really enjoyed the trend of kind of casting arguable unknowns. Because, like, to me, yeah, like, people knew Christian Bale, people know, like, Gary Oldman, people know Andrew Garfield and stuff, but, like, you, you know them as actors. You know, you, can, you kind you of know what I mean? As celebrities. Where, whereas Ben, Ben is, ne like, has long since been more of, like, a celebrity first, yeah. actor, director second. So that's really the only issue I take with it is, like, yeah, it might be kind of hard to, like, watch the movie and not be like, that's Ben Affleck. But literally, that is like the only thing that I care about because it's like, first of all, I don't mean to be like a Debbie Downer, but I just the fact that it's Batman versus Superman tells me all I need to know about that movie. <laughs> By which I mean, I mean I know I'm gonna see it because I'm a nerd, but <laughs> like I'm not, I am not terribly anticipating that movie at all. Like, it, it's cool that it exists and everything. Um, I, I'm certainly not going to dog anybody that is excited for it, but it's just not really what I'm interested in watching, you know what I mean? So, but if we could harness the energy created by the nerd rage going on, <laughs> we could have, like, we would end all the world's energy problems. <laughs> Like, if you told all these kids that if they just ran on, like, a hamster wheel, <laughs> that they wouldn't cast Ben Affleck as Batman. <laughs> but then keep telling them, like, oh, we reneged on that. <laughs> you have to run faster or else we're going to cast him again. <laughs> like, what it's the same sad, reaction man. for Heath Ledger. No, I mean, well, see, that's the thing. Yeah, the same thing happened when they casted Heath. I was on... Honestly, I wasn't alive for this, but from what I know, the same thing happened when they casted Michael Keaton. And most people agree, I mean, I'm still not a huge Michael Keaton fan, because Bruce Wayne to me doesn't have curly hair. Um, but we can all generally agree that the movies that both of those guys were in were incredibly well-received films. So, like, you, you never know. At the same time, you know, everybody thought that... Well, I guess I can't really think of anything specific, but you know, like people thought certain actors were great casts for other roles that did not pan out at all. So you know, just wait, wait until the see. wait until the movie comes out, man. I, I think Ben Affleck had two bombs, so that's why he had more than two, but that's another.